The games people play. Trampoline. We're going to bounce our way into the next game people play. We've arrived at the trampoline. Trampoline was invented in 1934 by George Nassan, an American gymnast. He got the idea by watching trapeze artists who would perform various tricks as they fell into the safety net after their aerial routines. Originally, the trampoline was used just as a training device. In fact, not only for gymnasts, but believe it or not, astronauts too. But the first World Trampoline Championships were held in 1964, and it made its Olympic debut in 2000 at the Games in Sydney. I probably don't need to explain the equipment, but it's a frame that holds an array of steel springs, which in turn attach to a piece of stretched canvas, and bouncing on the canvas put those springs to work, and in no time, the athletes are soaring higher and higher. But what you may not know is the way the routines work. There are 10 different elements that these athletes have to include in their routines, and they're scored based on the difficulty of each element, the execution of them, and importantly, how much time they spend in the air. So it's a highly technical sport that demands precision. Two events, both the men and the women, in the individual competitions. Athletes from China have managed to win 14 of the 36 Olympic medals that have been awarded in trampoline. So they have been dominant, but it's the Canadian, Rosie McLennan, who is the only athlete to ever successfully defend a trampoline title, winning gold in 2012 and then again in 2016. And that is trampoline. The games people play, brought to you by Wallside Windows, celebrating 80 years as Michigan's replacement window leader. For more information on this event, visit clickondetroit.com.